Lindsay. Well, I'm going to do another van tour again. We've made a few modifications, so I thought I'd just do a full tour here. I have some new LED lights. Yay! So you can see the back of my van now. It's all lit up nice. I'm going to step here. I'll show you my step. I got this cool little funky step at Walmart because I'm short and I'm old and the knees were starting to give out a little bit from stepping down. So this is my little home. My windows, here's where I got, well here's where I hang my purse and my keys. I got my power strip there. Obviously this is my bed. There's the back of my little antique dresser. And then I just kind of cozied it up a little bit. This chain here is from the Renaissance Festival, which I absolutely love, my favorite thing to do. And obviously Sam likes the bed. There's my little Lugabaloo, which also is my garbage can, so I empty him every day or every other day. Just depends. But that's been wonderful, no smell. This is an old antique trunk. That was my mom's that she gave to me that I have a whole bunch of stuff in and a whole bunch of crap on top right now. But this opens up. Oh, anyway, it's too heavy. But I got a bunch of stuff in there. Here's my little water bottle. We got a fan. Sam's bed. A fancy new rug. Sam's fan that blows on him all the time. This fan I haven't had on for a while because it's been so cool here. Chris turned my front seat around. And there's my driver's seat. I keep that water bottle there so Sam doesn't get underneath there, but he gets under there anyway if you've seen my Instagram account. And I'm at Susie Koenig at Instagram or I think it's Susie's full-time van life on Instagram. But I'll have Chris help me put a link at the bottom. But anyway, sorry for the wiggling around. These are my beautiful new lights. That one's not on right now, but got a little little storage and stuff and I absolutely love my home. It's very cozy. Sam say hi. Sam. Sam. There's Sam. Now we'll go see Mick. It's very cozy, very comfortable. There's the Mickers. He's so handsome. And there's Sam. And there they're going to wrestle. So Chris and I have our little camp chairs out here. And we're just, we were just chilling. Oh my goodness. We have to kill each other. And there's my little shore power cord that Chris installed for me. Our little uh, cooler refrigerator. And our little garbage can that we keep the poopy in, the doggy poopy in, and I empty that a couple times a week. That little pot right there is a antique little chamber pot that Chris got for me a couple years ago, and I've got a mother-in-law's tongue plant in there that my mom gave me. My friend Trinka's been babysitting all my plants, and I went and got this one the other day, because so I said, I'll take this one with me, and she can have the rest of them. She'll take good care of the rest of them. And then here's the back of the van. Here's my little kitchen, my little antique dresser with our dry goods underneath. Shore power comes in through here and goes up through there to my little thing. We have the essentials, the dog food and the dog treats, of course. And my little closet where I can hang a few clothes, which makes me so happy. And then Chris is right behind me. So I'm gonna go give you a little tour of his. He's been working on his lately too. Damn, shut up. We are so anxious to get on the road. Well, I guess Mick is gonna give us a tour because this is Mick's house. Mickers, yeah, get in the van, get in the van. Hi, is this your house? And he loves having his seat turned around. Whoa. This is, uh-oh, I'm gonna be tripped up by the dog. They try to kill me every day. Oh, I just lost my shoe. Anyway, so here's Chris's. I used to have this dresser in mine, and he got it. And I used to have that little trunk, and I gave it to him. So we're making use of some of the things that we've had. And he just built this bed on here not too long ago. And he's got a porta potty back there that he hasn't even ever used yet. 
so, once we get out in the desert, I'm sure he'll put that to good use. He's got his garbage and his water, water tanks right there, and yeah. So this is Chris's van. I gotta find my shoe here, and I'll show you the solar setup that he's got. And eventually, we were just talking. We need two more shore plow, shore power plugs, and then he's gonna link us together, so I can use his solar and he can use mine. This is the tow dolly that he got for like $350. All he had to do was put lights on it. And that's towed right there. The little Ford Freestyle. That's my toad. So we're going to tow that with this. And my, my van's name is Charlotte, as you guys know. And I don't know why I named her that, it just came to me one day. And here's his solar. He's got 200 watt solar panels. Renogy, of course. Strapped to the side. And he's got two poles that we can bend them up. <laughs> and so that's our solar power. And then I'm going to get, we're going to get a couple more panels for him. And hopefully a total of four for me. So we should have like 800 watts. And that should be more than plenty. Maybe I'll just get 200 watts. So we'll see. That's all down the road. But we've got enough for right now to get us by with the basics. But there's Mickers. Wanted to show you guys my horrible nails. I took off my acrylic nails because uh, I figured I don't know where I'm going to have them done once we get to the desert. And I figured I'd save the money from now until then. So anyway... Love y'all, and we'll talk to you later.